All right, everybody, I am at Home Depot. I wanted to show you, I just posted a video showing that you can use buckets to collect rain water. They're very cheap. I got trash cans and I talked about buckets, any form or anything that you can collect water in. They got all kinds of trash cans and buckets that you can collect water in. A lot of these I'm looking at is 31 gallons and 30 gallons. I think I have one at home, 50 gallons. I bought off Amazon. This is 44 gallons, still cheap. They have tops. You can buy tops for them. They got wheels, no wheels. I wouldn't want wheels because of the fall. But this is a 20 gallon. And if you look at your water bill and see how much you use of water before you started gardening or that when you don't have garden days, you can see how much water I would lease for a minimum 50. If um, depends how much water I say something at least 200 gallons, so um, for a minimum. So get, um, like I said on Amazon or here, they have 50 gallon and get these and they have the tops. And this is a great water resource to store water in. And that way save on your water bill when you're planting your stuff or you have to drink out the water or you get to bathe, wash your hair, give it to your cats and your dogs, rinse your food off, make Kool-Aid tea and coffee. Again, if you don't have a fire pit or something to boil your water to sanitize and sterilize your water, you can put a, I'll say in a 50 gallon, 40 gallon, put a half a top of bleach or a half a cup, a top and half and stir it up and use it or you have water tablets put at least a one water tablet um, per five gallon water so these are a resource so I came up with something I was thinking if anything crazy happened or something happened in the world we went the EMP attack and uh, we went off grid we lost electric and people can't come and pick up the trash I was thinking where am I going to burn my trash in my yard where am I going to burn I'm looking at this this is a great idea, and it's only $30 that we can use this and put it in our backyard. Those that don't have a spot or don't want, but we can burn our trash in there. Um, it's metal. I think it'd be safe. If not, you have to do a fire pit, and you got to be careful if you don't have trees, so you won't catch your grass on fire, start your grass on fire. But I think this is a, big, a good way to um, burn your trash or any household trash that you might have. Uh, when your house to keep you. Um, if you ever had to burn your trash because you didn't have no trash pickup because maybe martial law or the world was shut down temporarily for a week, month, three days, four days. And then I thought this was really cute. Cook a little, put a little couple of small fishes in there. You can have it mate, but I think that is a great, wonderful idea. Just being creative and thinking outside the bus boxes. Still, it's a way of a wash board. If you had to wash your clothes, because how are you going to wash your clothes? The hybrid young person don't even know how to wash clothes. I think this is a great way. You can use that to wash your clothes if you didn't have a um, bathtub, if you didn't want in the tub. And of course, you got to get your pins for your clothesline or rope if you didn't have that. And tie your clothes on there and get some um, clothes clippers to hang your clothes on, young people. Or just, you know, old school people my age and older, 49 and older. But if you did couldn't wash clothes one day, how are you going to wash clothes? If you couldn't burn your trash one day, have you ever thought about it? Why would you think about it? There's so much going on in the world. Being self-sufficient if you lived off grid and just say hi. But then when you didn't want to burn your grass up, you like your grass, like your yard is so pretty. I think this is a phenomenal way of burning your trash. Look how deep it is. And again, it is 31 gallons. You can put a lot of stuff in that. Again, you can again store water in this one. You can put a couple of fishes in it. Same thing with this one. I saw a guide on his YouTube channel. And they have fishes in there. So you, these are multitask. Not only trash, water, you can make fish in there and have fish in there and have your own. This is a multifunctional um, trash can. So don't just look at it with the simple eyes of a trash can. Look at it as a multifunctional needs. What could I do? Don't just look at this as a trash can. Look at this as a water collector. You can collect water, but you will never have. And it's free. You don't have to steal for a bottle of water. But yes. So, just want to share that with you all. So, find your nearest Home Depot, Lowe's, track the supply store, or Ace Hardware, whatever's cheap in your area, what's available. Grab you a couple of trash cans. I think it's a great way of uh, just be mindful with wheels. I wouldn't get wheels because it'll blow and it'll waste. 
but find you some ways to. And again, this is a nice planted pot as well. They have these. This is a good thing. Collect water in. It's put your plants in it as well. I saw a girl on YouTube, a little girl, a little baby girl. She was swimming in it. So so many multifunctional that you can see things just with the natural eye. And what else can I do with besides planting with it? You can store fish in it. You can put fish in it. Fish, yes. Got a little baby can play in. You can bathe and a little kid can bathe in that. Very multifunctional. So they got the wheelbarrows. Let me show you this real quick. So this is what type of wheelbarrow I have. Prices are not bad. I paid $59 last year, still 59. If I can suggest, get something sturdy like this with two wheels. Mine's got one wheel because it really kind of hurted my back. Get something sturdy. Anything you see with two wheels, get something sturdy. I just having dirt and two bags and three bags of stuff, it's overwhelming for that one wheel. So if I can put my cents in, get something with two wheels. And I think it's like a 129 and bare minimum. Get you a nice water hose, something 100 feet. 50 feet might not be long, depending on how big your yard is, but 100 feet should be sufficient. But yeah, let's get growing. They got plenty, plenty, plenty of lemon and lime. We need that for our teas, for our health. They got pear trees. Come on, everybody, grab something. They got blueberry, blackberry, raspberry. It is no excuse that you don't have a fruit tree or blueberry tree on your balcony, behind your town home, on your back porch something grow something grow something in jesus name so take a leap of faith and they got plenty of dirt where this came from so can't say i can find no dirt they got plenty of dirt plenty of ground soil plenty of dirt so step out on faith take a leap of faith i love you i love you i love you am i my brother's keeper yes i am in jesus name i love you and many more continue to like and subscribe and follow me on my youtube channel bye thank you